There you go. Here's today's uh, modern day parenting. Kids running around like like lunatics, undisciplined. Look at somebody else's property, of course. All right, all right. Look at this unsupervised. It's uh, the, the product of um, modern day uh, parenting with you know with the with millennials and. Uh, It's incredible. It's incredible, really is. Unsupervised. If I was, when I was that age, if I did what they're doing on somebody else's property, I would have gotten a swift kick in the ass and um, the back of the hand. I would have gotten whacked. Here we go. It's still happening too. It hasn't stopped. Around and around and around. Unbelievable. 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 And and of course the, the, the guardians and or the parents say absolutely nothing about it. Absolutely nothing about it. No disciplinary action. And they're told to stop by the staff and nothing's happening. They don't have common sense. That, that, that's a thing of I mean, I mean, when to, to purchase today's newspaper and to leave it for others to read is just means that you're not a selfish prick. It's not, you're not talking about goddamn food that's going to spoil. That's the bottom point I tell them. It's a, leave it. it's a paper with ink. Leave it for others to enjoy. Yeah, if it, nobody touches it, it's not going to smell or do anything to you. It's like if you bought a science magazine, did the same thing. They don't get it. They don't get it. I, like I said, I can't get through to people. That's why I become bitchier and bitchier. Why, why in tarnation do they need to throw it in the garbage is beyond me. Guy buys today's newspaper. He leaves it for others. People, people, people. Other people buy it. I can't. I just can't. I can't understand the logic of it. People, people buy today's newspaper and then throw it in the garbage. Dad was. Dad was. That's it. You can't get through to people. No, it's just, it's just their attitude sucks. No, you can't get through to people. It's called ignorance. Well, they should have the, the, the conscience and the common no, sense to know no, this. You can't. Again, instead of four or five times, you can't get through well, why, to why, why do you need to teach people kindness and manners? Because you can't get through to people. Evidently not. That's the bottom. There's no argument. You can't get through to people. I mean, we don't think that way. Well, you do. I've got to keep going on with you. Yeah, but I would never throw away today's newspaper. No, but certain things I keep telling you. My buddies that come in in the morning. Right. Oh, we have discussions. And people walk by and say, oh, you people don't mess around. I said, no, we discuss things. We discuss everything. Yeah. Uh, and they're, they're like, yeah. my God. Unlike unlike, unlike a lot of people on social... That's how, that's how we talk and yeah. we meet new people. Right. Like, well, yeah. Unlike a lot of people on social media that post what they had for lunch. Well, but they said we... Or we talk. Cute kittens. Look how adorable my kitten is. No. We shouldn't talk. Yeah. We, we talk. We talk about deep subjects. Uh -huh. Everything. What's going on? We see on the news. This is bullshit. What's your opinion? What do you yeah. think? I just learned something new on, on, on this TV right before you got here. I didn't know that black pepper enhances the effectiveness of turmeric. We spice tumors. No, that's another one. What was somebody saying today? What do we really know? I mean, they say this, they used to say that about selenium and vitamin E. Selenium you enhances the effect of selenium. You hear nothing about vitamin E. Anymore. Well, it's not in vogue anymore. It's just bullshit. It was a flavor of the week. That's all well, it was. It, no, it, it's not bullshit. It's that. It's that. It does. Yeah, Jimmy, you had books big pharma. Out of big pharma cake. controls. No, no, no. Stop with the. No. You, 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 you have too much trust in corporate. And you don't. Oh, I know they're lying fucks. Do you? And they're greedy. How do you know? Ever hear the golden parachutes and the over overpaid, overrated CEOs? Yes. But what's that mean? The whole corporation is bad? Not everyone. Well, they, there you go. Not everyone. A lot of what they make, you die without. 
without some of these drugs, you can't depend on your goddamn uh, alternative, alternative herbs to heal somebody. People with cancer can't wait that long to have a... Well, me uh, well medical marijuana does destroy cancer cells. That well, was proven. That's just a thing that's been known for a long, long time. That's, that's no creation by a vitamin company. No. So that's my point. These people go, they get all these flavors of the day. You don't hear a thing about the yucca plant or well, yucca MB anymore. Well, an, on, an oncologist. Where they, where they go? An alternative oncologist told me it depends on what kind of cancer the person has. Well, alternative, yeah. And you see, the, how viable is this guy? You know, that's one guy's opinion. He has a huge success rate. Uh huh. He's I, out I there. I wonder. So did that guy out of Houston. Remember him? That guy, and then it was found he was a fraud. Okay, so he was the biggest. You mean it was a quack? He was a quack. Was well, a... no, his stuff didn't really do as well as his his claims were. So that was a big thing. Oh, whatever happened to remember Laetrile B17? Remember Steve, actor Steve McQueen, uh, was what had cancer and he took it. Russian penicillin, that's gone. I mean, well, Laetrile's from apricot pits. Um, yeah, but, but, this, but the problem is, so is cyanide. This, this, this alternative stuff. You I mean, you know, an apricot is, is in a peach family. The, the seed has a lot of has are, cyanide in it. There are so many, so few who have been done by alternative medicine. And a lot of that, I think, is placebo effect for mind. Control. Well, what you have to be suspicious of that which is patented. Because I don't think there are any alternative medicines that are patented. No, no, you can't. How can you patent Mother Nature? Well, because they call it E and this and that. I mean, a lot of your drugs today are made from plant based formulas anyway. Yeah. So they what's actually that do it. That's what they actually do. They actually have a pa a, a patented drug omega three fish oil that's advertised on TV. Well, they say that's not as good as, as pure krill. So krill's even better. Well, krill is number one. So who's right? Who's wrong? Krill and krill also. Remember the big thing was ginkgo for the people with dementia and Alzheimer's. Ginkgo bulb and and, and, that's and erectile dysfunction. And it didn't do a thing because extremities they the circulation. It, they found it did nothing. I mean, for circulation. They found it did nothing. Who found it? The government, independent labs that took it and tried it and tested it, and they said, this stuff doesn't do it. So independent well. labs that do double-blind placebo studies. They did all kinds of studies. Because be careful with the FDA, what the FDA says. No, but what about, and then the FDA, what do they say? You think everything's bad. I don't I think, I, I think more people have paid off than we, than we think. But not all. Not all. I know. So who do you believe? Well, like you told who me. You, wait, who do you believe and why do you believe who you believe? It depends on the credentials and, and the reputation. Oh, credentials. Like, like, if, if, like if an organization that's known to certify organic food is famous and they got their stamp of approval. They found organic food doesn't mean jack shit. Well, it means it's not genetically modified. It just means nothing. It means nothing. Just like you're buying fresh produce? No, you're not. The best thing you can get is frozen. either canned or frozen. I love frozen pro uh, Don't, produce. The last thing you want is fresh because that's been sitting yeah. on how many docks. Then it had to go in transit on a, I don't know, a, a plane right. or a truck or whatever. Right. That stuff could be so damn old. Right. And yeah, so, and fro frozen produce is vine ripened. But that's my point. People it's vine ripened. But my point is, people think they're buying fresh, but you're not. Listen, you're not. A tom even a tomato in a can is vine ripened and then, and then picked. I told, did I tell you about tomatoes in a can? Well, there could be preservatives in there and salt, but. Tomatoes in a can have five times more anti-carcinogens than a fresh tomato you buy in a can. It's called lycopene. It doesn't matter. It's five it, times. No, to, you're a man of science. It's lycopene. It doesn't matter what it is. It's got five times more anti-carcinogens. Yes. It's a, it, it's, a, it's a carotenoid, to be exact. Carotenoid. Yeah, yeah. carotenoid. No, the point, that's not the point. The point is, people think can or this too much salt. No, it doesn't have that much salt. Where do you people keep getting this from? I keep saying, where do you get it from? Because you have a, sh a strong belief and trust in corporate i mean that's your opinion i respect that well there's your thing of corporate. i respect there's that thing of corporate. i think they're a bunch of liars but it's healthier in canned or frozen which is corporate. remember what you told me um which is corporate. over a year ago i remember what you told me you told me how do we know if a vi anything what's on the label is actually inside you don't 
We, who took it to a lab and had it tested? A lot have, but then they, they found out a lot of it's not in there, what's been claimed. Yeah, well, the vitamin shop got caught. That was in Let's Live magazine. I told you that one guy told me it was sold, the two tops have gone way down the hill. Is, uh, Solgar? And Twin Labs. Twin Labs. Way yeah. down the hill. Oh, and, and now, forget about it. CVS, Wal uh, GNC, Walgreens, Walmart. You don't know what you're getting. Target. They all got caught. I, myself, I was warned years ago by somebody said you are, you're probably just getting stems and twigs. It's yeah. It's gu filler. You're guilty of fraud. Fraud is fraud. Well, you know, it's just junk. It's junk. You're buying junk. It's like a, like an but auto. Then again, you tell people I can't get through. To it's people. like an auto company have advertising that their car gets 50 miles to the gallon on a highway. And it doesn't. That's 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 fraud again. Well, that's why they've been caught. Look at the fines they paid. Look at the right. Am I right? Look at the fines they paid, Jimmy. You get caught, you're gonna pay. I mean, when Ron Popeil smacked his Showtime grill with a hammer and said, "Look, how do we know that wasn't a plastic hammer?" When it, that he whacked the the, the glass. You're gonna mistrust everything in life. I'm you know, but we don't know. That's right. Are, that's right. That's you, the point. That's my point. You, are you going to mistrust everything? Is everything a conspiracy? No, you, is everything horrible? You, you have you to. You have to live one day at a time and, and go on with I've your life. It's been phenomenal. New wave oven. Everybody I know that's got one raised. My Farberware. How are the reviews on the new wave oven? Phenomenal. They've been great, right? Okay. Uh, All right. There you go. Uh, that's why I, I respect reviews. I go on right, Amazon. Jimmy, Amazon. listen. My uh, listen, Farberware electronic car is one of the best things I've ever the owned. Farberware indoor grill, yeah, one of the best things I've ever owned. You know, I gotta look that up because I never seen them advertise that. I guess they sell so much they don't have to. The far Farberware indoor smokeless electric grill, well, it's not called that, I think it's called electric hearth. Hearth, okay, but it has it has grill bars, the, everything is surgical steel. So the whole thing you can just take, except for the right. the heating element, the, the, the entire rest of it can go right into the. And oven. it has a drip pan for the fat. And they're right. There is not one bit of smoke in the whole house. Now, it's, now it's phenomenal. H Mart, the Korean market, they have so many electric grills. Yeah. Okay. Korean. Yeah. I, I go by the brand name Farberware. I, uh, nah, I don't care what they've got. Now. Well, my sister gonna... bought a Farberware can opener, and the damn thing was dull within two months. It got rusty. Okay, but why is this so phenomenal? But otherwise, there are other products. And now, good. why are all these coffee drips and Keurig, which I detest? I don't like these pods. The best coffee maker, the best tasting coffee I've ever had is the old fashioned. With a plastic top boot, 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 purple layer. Oh, I love those. That's the only thing that works. And you know what? And that is all metal. You pour it right in there, your coffee, put it in with the water, and bam. Even my mom and dad said, I've never had coffee. Well, like and well right now, right now, I only see the glass ones at Walmart, but I, I know which ones no, you're talking about. No, it cannot be glass. Yeah, because it so breaks so easily. It's got to be the whole stainless steel one. A percolate, old-fashioned percolator on the stove is the number one. No, coffee. not on the stove. Electric. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, we had one for so many years. Well, eventually yes. they they burn out. No, they don't. Well, ours was a, a Presto. No, mine was a Presto company. Burned out. I think mine might have been Farberware again. I'm not sure. Well, when you're dealing with it, it was all yeah. stainless steel and it had that little yeah. plastic where you could see everything blooping up. Yeah, blue, 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 blue. Blue. Right. You could hear a hiss go. And, and that's that. Yeah, because it had the heating element. That made, that made coffee like nothing. Now, else. What, what you're supposed to do with those appliances is occasionally you're supposed to put like white vinegar and get well, the. Yeah, but that's in the instruction manual. The limestone. I mean, we know that. The we limestone. Well, you know that, yeah. It's in, it's in the. Uh, all I all I know is this one was Presto is popular. But, but, company. but you don't need to and put your, what you just said. You don't have to do it. If well, you it burnt it out. If you clean it regularly, anyway. Yeah. If I did, I got a brush and I even did the little holes underneath. Yeah. The, the more the moral of the, the moral moro yeah yeah put a little pun well, intended. The moral of the story is, it's great that we have online reviews mm -hmm. from real people giving reviews.
with their names and everything. Reviews are out of bitterness and anger, so don't trust reviews. Either. Well, you have to do the overall. Of them are you gotta get. I know you. you, know? you Look, it, it's your opinion if you have that much faith, faith in corporate. That's your, that's your take on it. How many people had a bad experience with one doctor, but 10,000 had a great experience with the same doctor? I've seen reviews on doctors the that's same way. That's my point. Who do you believe? The dentist. It happened with the See, dentist. I'm look, I'm look, who do you believe? I'm looking for the dent or looking for a new dentist. Yeah, who do you believe? You know, I mean... Uh, well, if one person bashes somebody and everyone else gives you five stars, well, uh, you know, yeah. I mean, people go buy it. They'll believe the bad. Why is that? Well, what Amazon does Amazon. is they give the they give an overall average. In other words, if one person bashes you and a dozen people love you. Yeah, but I wonder what they would give, like the Kuriga coffee. Cake. I don't like Kuriga. I don't like any way, any way the pods taste. I oh, by the way, like Braun, Braun from Germany is a, is a high quality company. Well, everything from Deutschland is high quality. Well, no, not always. But the other Germany, thing that's let me company, tell you something. The other company that does very well is Breville. Let me tell you something. If it wasn't if it wasn't for the scientists that came out of Nazi Germany, we would have no space program. We're, oh, no, 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 United no, States no. has a bunch of fucking dummies. We want to make a bet. Germany is what made oh, really? like the, the U.S. Who? space who? program. Who? Von Braun? The genius Werner von Braun. Oh, really? The genius oh, really? Werner von Braun. Yeah, what did he say? How he did it? He got advice from elsewhere. He admitted it. It Just wasn't like him. Tesla. How did you do it? I had a lot of help, and he pulled it to the corner. Oh. Aliens. The whole part of it, and they blew him, and they blew him off when he when he made that statement. The government blew him off. Well, that's, that's not the point. The point is, he admitted that he had. Well, help. He, the, did, he is not that brilliant. The, you just said everything from Germany. No, he had well, help. They, well, they are statistically pretty good with science. But we're not so bad, are we? Yeah. And, we're and, not so bad. And you know what? That thing about the government dismissing extraterrestrials. It's not just the United States. We've been missing this. D dismissing it. Uh, extra the yeah, the it's validity been, of extraterrestrial. It's been uncovered so much. It's, the governments all over the world don't want to talk about That's it. Right, it's been uncovered, Jimmy. This, not, there is no such thing as dismissal anymore. The it, people don't buy dismissal. Oh, you know what? No. That's a good question. Do you think the wait, wait, make sure it's still on. okay? Do you think that the governments collectively dismissing extraterrestrial existence? And contribution is because they are protecting the Roman Catholic Church and the Vatican. Because if uh -huh. no, you're gonna go back and forth not around. Well, no, it's here it goes. It's going because it would totally blow them out of the water if, if the, the evidence came out. That's not a real valid. Yes. Yeah, so. Well, it, it's well. I'm staring at it, and it's going clockwise. Not really. No, it's back and forth at an angle. Does it have to do with organized religion? Well, can you ask what I always use mine for? What's that? Are any of the world's religions correct or right? Are any of the world's religions correct or right? Mm-hmm. It's going it's going counter. Well it's a no. Go back to the, the follow up I always use. Is religion a total load of bullshit? Is religion a total load of bullshit? Well Jesse Ventura says that. Oh yes. See? Maybe to control weak minded people or to control the masses? Maybe the majority of humanity is weak minded. Okay, follow up with what you just said. Stop. Okay. The vast majority of humans don't have a clue, do they? The vast majority of humans in general do not have a clue. Is this true? All right. Okay. All right. Oh, oh. Well, it's really, it's really going clockwise now. It's going, oh, it's turning. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's gone. Most people, thought, most people just don't get it, do they? Most people just don't get it, do they? Yes, it doesn't make sense. They don't get it. Man. Well, that's why they use the term sheeple and lemmings today. Sheeple. Like, like Let me the. Try. Can I try? Yeah, sure. Let me like, try like, 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 like the guy that you, they don't come here anymore. Because, because, boy, you, because you lace the reality about the of a Catholic, Catholic priest. Oh, they just wanted to pray for me. The Catholic priest, yeah. You, you, you know. Most people just don't get it, do they? Even though it went into Jimmy, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, see, it's easier when you're looking down to. You know. Not to swing, though, Jimmy. Oh, that's a definite. That's a definite. Most people just don't get it. There you go. Is there. Is. Is. Advertisement fraud more common than people think? Yes, we know that, but just for verification, yes. Yeah, because they, they probably know that most will not take the product to a lab. To test the vote, sure is a lot of loitering kids around. Loitering kids around it. I mean, to test something properly, you got to do at least a double-blind placebo study. Yeah, but who knows? We don't know how much they're studying. They could be going way up more than they are required to do. <clears throat> we're not there. We don't no, know. we're not. I heard Consumer Reports. They just don't stop. They tear everything apart and go through it. You you know who got caught? Uh, as a um, a biased liar, Snopes. There's a website Never called Snopes. Them. Never heard of. Them. Well, they're 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 kind of like a consumer report. Never heard of them. Yeah, they're called Sno it's Snopes. It's com. They're uh, they were caught being paid off to, to give their opinion. No, you can't do that. You can't yeah. do that. That's wrong. You're a scam organization. Then. You're a bunch of liars. Yeah, and 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 that and that that makes people uh, mistrust so much that who knows? Maybe that's why 63 percent didn't bother to vote in the in the last major election. You know, it's terrible. It's a, it's a, it's sad because he's going to have a hard time going around this if he runs again. And and what's what Melania's jacket in 85 degree weather? It says I don't care on it. What was that about? That's not like her either. I don't get it. She's not that kind of a person. No, so it wasn't be maybe it had another meaning or, or it was just the jacket she wore I heard, the wrong I, time. I, I hear she's been bucking heads with her husband often. Well, they sleep in separate rooms. I didn't know that. Well, something's wrong with that picture. <laughs> oh man. Well, remember the, remember the time when they, he walked out of Air Force One and, and she was he like... Slapped his hand. She, no, no, no. Also, she was like 50 feet behind yeah, him. She slapped his hand, too. He tried to hold her hand, she right? Doesn't love him. I don't, she doesn't love him at all. I think she's being told you have to stay. Stay. It doesn't look good. Well, and with her provocative photos, I mean... Oh, come on, provocative. Jimmy. I mean, oh, risque. Jimmy. It's nothing. It's almost like Roseanne getting fired. I told people we discussed. I said, look, I have been one of the biggest. I just can't stand Roseanne. Roseanne could care less. She's loaded with built money. Money's got nothing to do with it. I said, you're, you're missing the point, Jimmy. Yeah. I said, what I told I don't care about Roseanne. I can't stand her. But what's fair is fair. She said a stupid thing. It was wrong. It was a dumbass comment. You don't fire her for that. But that's Roseanne's humor. No, it's not the point. That's how she no, is. No, it's not her humor. She's bipolar, and that was part of her illness. And I said, you don't fire somebody for this. 
I said, that's, that's the point. You don't, you don't fire. I a said, every time somebody farts, you want to fire them, fire them, fire them. I said, stop. You don't it. fire people for having an opinion and, well, being, and, and being protected by the First Amendment. Well, no, you got limits to all. Like, of like the if some, if somebody you goes, got limits. like if somebody goes on social media and says my supervisor is an asshole and a prick, you got a, they turn yeah, around and fire. Limits. Them. You got limits. But then again, that was his opinion. And that it's is, it's also no, you cannot run into the old adage. You cannot run into a movie theater is crowded and yell fire. You can't right, do that. That's freedom of speech too. But maybe, maybe the man's uh, executive director is a is a scumbag. But keep your mouth shut. But I mean, if he is, I mean, shouldn't but keep your mouth shut. And so he shouldn't be exposed. Shut up! No. Don't say a word. Shut up! Why are you jeopardizing your job? Shut up! Yeah. Are you an idiot? So. You know, why do these guys go out and commit crimes? You know, he could sue that company for what? for First Amendment. Why do these people go out and commit crimes? Come on, tell. I just robbed a store today, made thirty two hundred dollars. Well, that's it. Well, that's my point. Shut up! See, I'm trying to get right. through to you, and you keep going. But on. I'm saying is but, that but that man, is, you're stop, not listening. Stop. I am listening, but you keep making. Excuses. But that man can sue for a violation oh, of the First Amendment. Maybe you lose it too. The point is, shut up. Don't go advertising everything you do. That's all. It's that, oh. it's that cut and dry simple. Shut up. Really? Why, what is this urgency for people to blab? Because they know they have a First Amendment right to blab. Oh, they don't have a right. It's limited. You better watch what you blab because it's called being sued for, for liable. <laughs> no, you wouldn't have suits. Well, what for if liable. you can prove your 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 but, gossip but, is are true? Are you willing to spend how much per hour for an attorney and go through a whole court thing for years and years and years? Why do you think, think why do you think things get settled out of court? But are you, <clears throat> this is what you want. You want to open your mouth. Now you better go to the legal system. Yeah. Is that what you want now? I tell people, shut up. And yeah, but I said, don't give me any yeah buts. I want to hear yeah but. No nice. yeah but. Shut up. End of argument. Don't say a word. You know, they just get it like you get it. You know what all this comes back to my dad? You just can't get through to people. You well, just can't. Well, then why, why even have the First Amendment then? You it know? should. It, it was written how long ago? It should be. It has been amended. It does have uh, appendices to it too. <clears throat> Certain things you can and cannot do. That's why you have liable and the whole thing. You can't. There is no, it's not true anymore. <coughs> you open your mouth, you say the wrong thing, you are liable. See the point? You can't. Especially you're under the spotlight. You can't just you're say a politician. You like a politician has to mind their P's and Q's in public. You can't. Yeah. You can't. You don't open your mouth. And yeah. why do you? Look at. Look at people that don't realize, you know. <coughs> What's this urgency, Jimmy, to open your mouth all the time, right? Think about it. Why do you have to open your mouth? Expression of the realities? Oh, Jimmy, shut up. You rob the bank and you go on the thing. And oh, well, that's dumb. That's it. stupid well, as hell. That's my point. That's dumb. My point, again, it comes back to how many times I just said to you, shut up. Don't say it. But they got the yak. They've got the yak. And it yeah. back to my father. You just can't get through to people. And, and, but we all, you warn that's them, true, but we also. tell them and yeah. they will not. Listen. Well, we also don't live in a fascist uh, regime we either. You know, it's a happy medium. We've got laws. You're going to be punished if you're a freaking asshole. That's the point. Yeah. You open your mouth, you're going to pay for it if you did something wrong. Hey, Mitt, Ro Mitt Romney paid with his his they election. All, they all have with certain things. One little sentence can screw you. Keep your mouth shut. You know what? It's the old saying. Think before you speak. Yeah. It's think before you speak. Speak and, that many and do. Times. And also and do. God, these people. Yeah, they, 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 they talk. I'm going to tell everybody what I did. No, you don't. Shut up. Up. They, yeah. they, Why they, do you have to tell everybody? Why do you have to let people know what you did? Because you're an asshole. Shut up. Again, I can't get through to you. Well, I, I, I was telling somebody the other day, your private life should not be public knowledge. 
love. <laughs> with these stupid computer crap you all go through and live on. With all the social the time. media. Yeah, yeah, that's all you do is yak, 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 yak. And I don't give in to it, do I? Yeah. No, I, I never talk about my, my private matters on social media. Well, you didn't I, mind I, I talk you put about me on without my permission. No, I talk about I, I talk we'll about I talk about uh, like political issues. Again, yes. How many times have I gotten you and said, Don't ever do anything for anybody without the permission? You put me all over and I said, Don't do that without my permission. Don't ever right. do that. Never. No means no. Hey, Billy, what do I said, no. I said, yeah, okay. Simple command. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I think it'd be great, Jimmy. Then go ahead and do it. But you didn't even ask. That's my point. Are you willing to keep man yeah, God's sure. voice? Yeah, I'll go out. Man's God's voice I don't want, I don't hidden. Want to be under for you to look at me. I just don't want it. What about doing voiceovers and getting paid good money? Well, if I got put that's on it, I don't want to be the Facebook or websites doing it. Right. I don't want to be no, not that way. Right. You coming out? Yes, I am. This has been a Mega Life 21 production. It happens to be a true fact. How could ice cube trays be a seasonal item? Pe people don't make cocktails and and put ice cubes in drinks in the winter time. People don't eat ice cream in the winter time. People don't consume whole wheat waffles or uh, any frozen dinners in the winter time. Give me a break. That's the excuse all these gives me. It's seasonal. We don't have it because it's seasonal. What? Shepherd's pie is seasonal? Has beef, potatoes, vegetables? How can that be seasonal? How could whole wheat waffles be seasonal? It's insane. It's a stupid fucking answer just to get rid of you as a customer. It's seasonal. How ridiculous that is. How ridiculous. Well, maybe clams, the frozen stuffed clams, maybe that could be seasonal. But not the other items. The problem is that companies across the board hire incompetent employees. Maybe because they pay so damn cheap. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 all, it's an awful lot of it's an awful there's an awful lot of loitering going on. I noticed with these kids, they, they hang out and they hang out and they don't they don't and they don't buy anything and they just like make a lot of racket. That's because it that's because there's no old fashioned discipline anymore. That's why. They need to get smacked around. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> Well, he suggested I could take him out of the house. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it, I'm not complaining. took a whole sort of border all over the Really? The bathroom. Oh, my God. I came out and I told him, I said, come on, you guys, what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. So what are you doing? I just need a... Is it wasn't us. I, said, I, just, well, need a, I just need a... So why, who's doing I just need a week's supply for now. I said, come on. It's incredible. <laughs> all this stuff. <laughs> oh, no, right, right where you have to walk in. Uh, you go ahead and yeah. eat. Screw it, screw it. Then you get you guys can pull off the mattress. Oh. Uh, well, and it puts her in a it puts yeah. her in a bad situation too. Why do you have to do this? Why do you have to do this? 
my um now, I, I was I didn't do that Karen I didn't yeah. go out and make a mess no, 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 I know I you know, know I mean uh, my, my you, I hope you didn't I wasn't allowed to hang out are you kidding me oh you gotta go I had friends but I had well, we didn't go pouring stuff all over floors and uh no, I didn't. I didn't do. I didn't do any of that. I was. A, I was always very fastidious. That means clean and meticulous. Yes. That means neat. Yes. <laughs> Why do you want to make a mess? What? I'm. I'm cool. You want to go out with? Did me? they do that at home? Yeah. Oh. What would you? Well, I don't know. Maybe some homes of mommies and daddies let them. Well, before you got here, there were kids running around like 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 maniacs without, and their parents did absolutely nothing. Well, see, I, she I, was I, here. I, she no, see, I see, I would go over nicely. Like, whoa, 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 hey, hey, calm down. You know, please. They were chasing each other like figure eights around. And then you're gonna slip and shoot and hurt yourself and shoot yeah. the place. And the mother and father's up there did absolutely. And I hope the cameras would catch it and the judge would say, "You brought this on yourself." They did. Who they told did. you to run through the store? They, they did absolutely nothing about it. Absolutely That's nothing. What I would do. That's what I would say. I would of course, do. younger parents. Of course. Not you. Not you. But why do you want to be an asshole? Or why do you want to let your kid abuse other people's... Mike? Oh, you know me. It was my kid. I yeah. mean, you stop it right now. Well, it's other people's property. They're not learning to respect other people's property. Well, you just don't run the public spot like that. You yeah. don't do that. No, it's a liability. It's a liability you, issue, I man. Say, I would say to myself, are you a jerk? It's like my, my mom's... My mom's caregiver... My, my mom's caregiver during the day, right? Yeah. She brought letters in. We have, she, oh, she asked. Like my hand's probably like this. Ah, uh, uh, Look like Cher. I can't look. Cher? I can't look. I mean, with oh. blonde hair. Do I really? Look no, because you got that, Cherokee you got that hippie, am, you got that hippie band. Really? <laughs> <laughs> where's your, where's your girlfriend? Oh, Eileen? Yeah, we haven't seen her. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure she looks forward to hearing that laugh. We haven't seen her in a, two weeks or a week and a half. Or... And, and you know, my my mom's um, caregiver during the week, she brought over papers for us to sign. They're going to send it to the governor of New Jersey, Phil Murphy. Right. That the problem is that the agencies say that the caregivers are quitting because they're not. We can't pay them much. And the agency is blaming Medicare and Medicaid, but the fact is the agency is taking the largest percentage of the money. They're billing the government and they're taking like $30 and giving the caregiver a lousy $11. You're, you're, you're way overpaid on EBT. Oh, that? $15. Oh, that's, that's an insult. That's cool. Where are you going tonight? Yeah, well, friendlies? You know what? I'm what having Cham Clowder. <laughs> Cham Clowder. My dad used to call it. I'm getting. I'm having codfish fillets with uh, fried pierogies. Uh, cheese. Oh, pierogies. You, ever, you ever have the, the cheese? Wait. Mrs. T's. No, there's Poppies and Mrs. T's. They. Uh, Who's Poppies? It's another pierogi company. Where? Sometimes you, they're in. They're in the frozen food section. No, where? Alleys. No, it's a regular soup bar, but I get mine at all these. Never soup bar. No, the ones in all these are cheaper than the ones in Shoprite. Are they good? Oh, they're damn good. It's either it's either potato and onion or potato and cheese. But I like them both. Because you can put anything you want in pierogies. Well, they both they both taste great. But why do they have more things too? You ever brown them? You ever brown them in a skillet with butter or something? I mean, I take them out as a side dish. No, I take them out frozen. They're crunchy. You bite, up, bite off a hunk. Yeah, why did they call a side dish a side dish? Isn't the it's main... in front of me. Don't tell me it's a but side But isn't the main entree also on the side? No, it's but, in front. It's but, a front dish. Like if you have a ribeye steak, right? And you have pierogies on the side. Isn't the ribeye steak also on the side? No, they're in front of you. It's on the, it could be on the right side or the left side. Or the front. Or the front. There you go. And what if you turn around in your seat that it's on back... Front, front side, front side, back side, left side, not right side, what are you left side. Tonight? Oh my God, Manaja. Oh, I like the pizza 
as my grandmother used to say in Italian, Monuj. You know, it's yeah, very hard. It's very hard for me to find a great tasting frozen pie. Very hard. No, it's not. No, Marie Callender's is great. Oh, screw Marie Callender no, and her pot pies. You no, know what she's doing? Good. That cheap fuck. She's giving all no, potatoes. No, no, it's all potato. Where's the meat? I don't see no meat well, in the. Maybe that. But that's. Oh, okay. Chicken pot pies. Beef, beef pot pies are good. The Aldi, the Aldi brand is loaded with chicken. Well, then get those. But I do. Are good. When they're good, they're great. Yeah, that's so yeah, good. But Marie Callender has got cheap filler, all potatoes. You don't think maybe you got a bad one? No, because I tried it several times, and and she she's putting in if she really exists, Marie Callender. I think Who knows? So. Right. Like they say, Mama Celeste. I hear they have excellent restaurants. Oh, maybe it's a uh, regional. Midwest or something. Yeah, yeah Marie Callender's an excellent restaurant. Oh, would, wouldn't that be a gold mine if Golden Corral really did open up over here? Well, that's the totally it's coming. That would be an absolute gold. I told you that, right? Yeah. It's supposed to be coming that over here. That would be a so, gold uh, mine, man. What? We're at Park. They say it's going in there, but they still have a sign in there for lease. I don't understand it. So I have to ask the girls, what have they heard lately? Well, the business owners that have stores in Bergen County said that their leasing is astronomically high. Their rents are really, really high, even for a mom and pop uh, store, like a gift shop or something. They, they got I mean, you need a, you need a lot of customers just to make, make your overhead. Your partnership with the landlord. These landlords will not bend with you. They're scumbags. They're slumlords. You know how long it took the one, the Lodi strip mall, to get the lights, the halogen lights for a nighttime replaced? All you do is own a store. You think you're a hot shot and want to be the partner in the business of I own some land. They, 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 the, the Chinese takeout in Lodi by the Dollar Tree said it's not a landlord that owns this it's a it's like a it's a bank it's a or real estate no not a bank I'm sorry real estate a real estate company and they don't care and they don't care and they don't care where that's where I go the one by Burger King yeah that's where I, I don't oh, live by the Dollar Tree up there I don't live far from there what I do is. Why? I park, and they opened up an Indian store by uh, Sorrento's. You know Sorrento's Bakery in Lower Lake? By Hunter. Oh yeah, they left. That's true. That's the ba my doctor is upstairs from uh, Bank of America, right, right on Hunter Street. Why was I? Doctor Rigolosi. Oh, they've been there forever. They're gone. Well, fa family-owned uh, bakery there, yeah, yeah. Well, the other place is family-owned, I think it's Garfield. They're an Italian place for homemade pasta and sauces, that Vita Mia. Vita Mia is still going Lodi. strong. No, they're on Harrison Avenue. They they are oh, the, is that Lodi or Garfield? The, uh, Orlando's Bakery. That's Lodi, actually. No, no. It's like right on the border, because we're the, we're, uh... Mount Virgin Church is on Lodi. Street. That's, that's you stay? Are you stay? No, I'm going to get up soon. That, that's Lodi. Oh, so you have to, I have to order yeah. something. Right. Harrison, uh, the, the borderline between... Uh, I have to order Gar something. Okay. Karen, have a good night tonight. The, the, the borderline between uh, Garfield and Lodi goes right down the center of Harrison Avenue. Yeah. One side is Lodi, the left side is Lodi, the right side is Garfield. So Vita Mia and Orlando's Bakery, where if you go up the hill, if you go up the hill, you know the Lorelei Boys Club? Yeah. There's a hill that... It's like a bend. There's like a bend. There's right. a bridge there. And you go up that hill. Yeah. There's, an or, there's an Orlando's Bakery. It's very highly rated. Better than Deanna's, I, I hear. Deanna's on the safe street, right. Yeah. By going towards the Walmart. Right. But, you know, anyway, Chinatown Gourmet, they told me their rent is so high, but it's like a real estate company. No, they're doing, they're doing great, man. Oh, that's good. They don't deliver. That's the only thing. No, 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 no. You know who got real stingy? Napoli's Pizza. They got really... I used to get big calzones. I used to get big baked big bake calzones, and guess what? Now, for the same price, the calzone is like tiny. Like a little strom or strombolis. No, I, I, I stop. I, I look, you never, 
you never cut corners. If you got a good business and you have a lot of customers, you don't screw your customers. You don't try to cut corners. You don't. You don't do that. You you just continue the quality of everything. Don't get greedy. Right. Right.